Restauración is a rural community located in the northwest portion of the island in the Cibao region. It consists of Restauración proper and five outlying villages. It lies only 12 kilometers away from the Haitian border and the Haitian town of Tilori. Restauración has a total population of about 8 to 10,000 people, with roughly 50% being Haitian immigrants. So it provides for a pretty dynamic work environment, but Dominicans are generally accepting, albeit with a few exceptions. More than 70% of Restauración is forest, so one of the main sources of income is from sawmills and other agricultural positions. The rest of the job pool consists of small family-owned businesses and government jobs. There are a lot of sharecropping situations as well, especially with Haitian families. So when Fimric first arrived on site, we saw a hospital and a few rural clinics. Upon a closer examination, we realized a great deficiency in not only personnel in these health centers, but quality of care as well. At the time, there were no active community health campaigns and the youth of the community seemed disengaged and uninformed. We worked quickly to get two health-focused youth programs up and running. Chicas Maravillas, which means Wonder Girls, and Superman are two fantastic programs started by Fimric Fellows that address healthy decisions, reproductive health, and self-esteem to girls and boys ages 8 to 14. And since the creation of these programs in late 2012 and early 2013, we have proudly graduated almost 200 girls and over 100 boys, and that number continues to grow. Through the Global Health Volunteer Program, we have been able to supply the local health posts with equipment they otherwise would have no access to, things such as an EKG machine and a centrifuge. Even things as simple as a pulse ox and working blood pressure cuffs did not exist before Fimric's presence in sight. Some of the main issues we see in the community are skin infections, chronic non-communicable illnesses such as hypertension and diabetes, parasites, and other upper respiratory infections. So we have used our relationship with local health posts and personnel to develop a club for people with diabetes and hypertension. Free screenings are offered and an endocrinologist meets once a month with our registered diabetic patients to go over nutrition plans and alter medications. In addition to our youth programs, health post support, and diabetes clubs, we play an active role in health education at local schools. We develop and execute a public health campaign about once every two weeks and provide the schools with fully stocked and replenishable first aid kits, as well as provide on-site first aid training to teachers. Restauración is located in a vulnerable, vulnerable position close to Haiti, where cholera is still an active issue. We have addressed proper sanitation and hygiene heavily, and even provided the least fortunate with covered latrines and other sanitary measures to hopefully reduce the incidence of outbreak and infection. Among all these other programs, FIMR continues to build out new programming based on community needs and is currently working to implement both prenatal and women's health programs and looks forward to a lot of future growth. FIMR has seen a world of growth since arriving in Restauración in 2012 and having the support of the community has been absolutely instrumental in our development. The Global Health Volunteer Program has provided not only credibility that we are a serious organization that is here to help, but also offers a face to the organization that kids and families alike can trust and feel safe in.